it's Adele from Inky Quill and I have a bit of a how-to storage video for you today. So um, lots of people have asked since I did my both of my room tours, if you want to have a look at those, have a look in my um, videos, that's the word I'm looking for, um, on my channel. So a lot of people have asked how do I decide how to store my Project Life cards? And for a long time, I was working out of core kits and it just got to be impossible. I was forgetting about cards and core kits and I found that I scrapped by colour. So I thought, why not sort them by colour? That would be the sensible thing to do. Um, so I used this Tactics, Tactics 41 centimetre organiser from Bunnings here in Australia. Um, but a lot of people are using the Close to My Heart medium organiser and... If I had seen that before I got this, I probably would have got that. But the good thing about this, let's see if I can do this without banging the camera. Um, the good thing about this is that you can take the little containers out. So they are, they're probably like two millimetres too tall for the things. So I just have them at a slight, um, a slight lean. But the great thing is if you're working on a layout and you just want to use turquoise and pink, you can just take out the turquoise and the pink and set it on your desk, which is great. So I did a huge de-stash of Project Life cards. I've got a whole heap um, that I want to sell and I'm down to one box. How amazing is that? Um, and in saying that, I do also have the Playful and the Dex Top still in their core kits, which I haven't sorted yet. Um, but yeah, so I'm quite happy with keeping this amount of cards. I am cheating slightly um, because Open Book Fine and Dandy aren't in here yet. I'm keeping them together because I want to do a few videos just using those. So slightly cheating. But we'll just pretend that this is all I've got. Um, so all I have is the separated into colours and I need to make new tab thingies out of plastic I think because I don't have enough room to put a tab at the top but the side tab seems to work but if I make them out of um, a plastic I'd be able to see them a lot better. So all I do is this is pink and obviously they're all the pink. I've got purple, red, orange, yellow and green. I really cut down how many green ones I had. Um, this is turquoise and aqua, blue, grey, white and black. And then I have some, oh sorry, white and cream and brown. Um, and then these ones are a little bit different. So this section is for days and months. So these are cards that have like days of the week, little calendars, that type of thing. And they're not sorted in any particular fashion. Then I have numbered cards and surprisingly it contains cards with numbers on them. <laughs> so see, I could also put that in calendar, but I just put it in numbers. Um, so whoop, camera, what are you doing? Um, so yeah, they're just all numbered ones. Then I have a special section for food because I found that I was trying to find cards where, so this one, for example, I've been hoarding this card, books and coffee, I just love it, um, or totally yum. So you could put a cute little photo of something that you had for dinner and just pop it on there. So I found food was helpful to have separate, just for me, it's just basically how you scrap. I am quite of a food selfie person. Um, the next one is celebration and birthday and so quite a lot of these is are from a birthday theme kit by Project Life. Um, so yeah, I don't really use them but they're there. Then I've got weather and seasons. So autumn, snow, um, welcome spring, that type of thing. I've got a very tiny travel section. It literally has one card in it. <laughs> I don't go to many places. Um, and then this last spot is, it's called wood veneer, but it's not, it's specialty. So I've got gold foil. I have these cut out Heidi Swap ones. More gold foil. Gold glitter. These are some Teresa Collins ones, I think vellum, little pockets, 
and I did have wood veneer ones in here but I used them. Um, then I have a section for brights and this is just multicolored cards that are kind of like oh hang on that's not brights here we go there's not many of them but they have kind of brighter brighter tones like this and then I have a section for muted so these are multicolored ones that have kind of that more vintagey kind of muted um, feel then I have a section for floral because I love my floral and but if it was a floral for example that was all pink floral it would go in pink so these are just for multicolored ones then still going I have arrows and symbols so a lot of ampersands in here arrows um, ampersands that type of thing then I have a whole section for ledger and line so just anything that looks like a, a note book and then I have a set of the um, blank cards there then this is my favorite section so this I just call words um, and I do color code this so all it is is filler cards that have words on them so I could literally if I'm feeling lazy I could just grab one of these put it in the pocket and I wouldn't have to do anything else to it so they're roughly very roughly color coded and they go all the way to I have a lot of black and then keep going go 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 um, and then this last section is called journaling prompts and these were a little bit tricky these are they kind of suggest what you need to write so there's quite a few current ones so in review about this book um, today so what the weather was um, today's weather this makes me so happy so the story of today was random thoughts about our week this is all I have to say so these sometimes when I'm stuck for five things I've learned about life that's a good one um, sometimes when I'm stuck for a week maybe I haven't got many things for that week many photos um, I'll often just rifle through here and find something to get me started so favorite thing so you could easily fill that out just with a pen put it in um, your plastic page protector and you're done today's activities so they're all prompty <laughs> if that makes sense so that's they are my topics and I thought now that I would go through my September skies and sort them with you so you might be saying Dill where are your freaking four by sixes they're somewhere else so I'll show you those in a moment so I'm going to put the four by sixes to the side and I have cheated. What I've done is I've split um, my September Skies kit up. So I've got some to sell and I gave some to a friend and um, I've gone through the rest of it and actually picked out how many I think I would use and which side I would use. So that took a little while um, and I'll kind of show it to you as I, as I go if I can. Oh wow, I've even color coded this one too. Super organized. Um, alrighty, so let's get started. So the first ones, these are a floral and they are predominantly kind of pinky tones. On the back there is another floral, but I don't know, there was just something that, oh, you know what it is. There's something that irks me about this. See if you can guess what it is. If you've watched my videos for a while, you know what it is lime green we meet again so that's why I've gone with this side because there's no lime green which makes me happy um, so these even though they are floral I'm going to say that they're predominantly pink and put them in the pink next up this says date and time now that could be a journaling prompt but it's not really enough for me to call it a journaling prompt if it had um, like or daily routine date and time then it might be but this you could literally use it for anything because every photo has a date and time so I'm going to pop that in here 
This one says love you more and I'm just going to put it in the pink because I could use it for journaling, I could use it for a photo. This next one says bliss. Now this I could use that way and put a small photo here or I could use it if I, I rarely use the um, horizontal 3x4 page protectors but if I did it's here um, and I'm actually going to put this in the filler cards because honestly I could put that in there. I could just put like a, a cork heart or one of my flares um, and it could be done. So that's kind of like a pinky red, kind of not like that color. So I'm going to pop it in here. Then this is pink. Ah, so there you go. That's the other side of that one. So what I do, if I like both sides, I will put half of it in one category and half of it for the other side. So for this one, I obviously like both of them. So I get to keep both of them. And I'm trying to be more, what's the word? More harsh on what I keep because I don't need five cards that say bliss, really. <laughs> um, these say perfect moment and to me that's a filler card. So I'm going to pop it in that same pinky red kind of section out there. These ones say happiness and I must have really liked this because um, there's three of them. So it's kind of that corally, it's not red. I'm going to leave it in pink because it's a, a pinky coral. So that can go in there. Oh, the reason why I don't call that a filler card is because the word's just too small. There's just, I've, I wouldn't put that in a um, page protector and leave it. I would have to put something there. Then I have, oh, sorry, <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> Aaron's shaking his head at me. Look at it. Look at how yucky it is. Yeah, he said, oh, okay, fair enough. Um, so obviously not going to keep the other side, um, but this is just a beautiful pink card, so it goes in here. Now, here is a definite prompting card. Hey, can you see that? That pink card is a different pink to the other ones. It's like there's been a bit of a inking error. I don't know if it's coming up, but it's a lot more pinky and these are kind of a light corally color. Anyway, this says the list and I see that as a journaling prompt. So into the journaling prompts it goes and there's no order to those. Simply Awesome and Hello, they're all fillers. They can go in pink. Mm, this is a tricky one, my favorite. I could put this as a journaling prompt. I could put it in pink. Usually when it's white with a color, I put it in the color, not white. Um, I'm going to put it in journaling prompt, just because I can. Lovely, that can go in pink. We're all here and journey. Actually, we're all here is a filler. Journey and these. Oh, I like that one too. Why haven't I done that? Oh, I probably have actually. It's probably bound down here. Yeah, it is. Um, they can just all go in pink. Read this. I'm not putting that in journaling prompt because it's not talking about reading books. It's more like... I could have it as read this. I hate the word read. I hate that it can be read and read, just depending on how you feel like saying it. Um, but I'm just going to put it in orange because it's kind of pointing to read this journaling. And I usually put my new cards at the front just because they're pretty and I like them. Um, so here's a great example of floral. It's mostly pink, so I'm going to put it in the pink section. Here's an arrow, so that goes in arrows and symbols. There you go. This one says this weekend. I'm going to put that in journaling prompts because obviously I couldn't use it on a weekday. It would have to be a weekend one. This is the sweet life. That can be a filler word. Another arrow. Oh, where did I put that other one? There it is. All right, hi guys, sorry, my camera died, so I'm back now. Um, so we're up to this one, and this has glitter on it, as does the next, so I'm going to put those in the specialty paper 
section totes forgotten where that is somewhere here this is why I need to fix this here it is pop those in there even though they could be filler cards and I know there was a pink one with gold foil on it here I could <laughs> it's a fine line guys between where they go um, these have kind of like a it's that same coral color but it looks more red so I'm going to put those in the red section that one goes in turquoise and aqua just lovely they can oh look that's the other side of that happiness one um, they can go in the aqua filler card section how it all went down I think I might put that in journaling prompts because that sounds like something's gone wrong and yeah I'm just going to go with that theory um, here turquoise just a basic card I should put them further up that would be way easier there we go um, think happy thoughts I'm going to put into the journaling prompts because it sounds like something's gone wrong love this blue floral that can go in turquoise because and aqua because it's kind of like I'm pretty biased with blues if it's a dark blue it goes in blue if it's a light blue it goes in turquoise um, turquoise and aqua turquoise and aqua turquoise and aqua even though that's kind of green but I'm gonna put it in there pop it in um, that one time I'm going to put in journaling prompts because it sounds like you know a random one-time thing that happened and then oh my god has anyone seen dude where's my car I freaking love that movie and then um, I'm just going to put that in blue actually because it could mean anything um, hello there and say what I'm going to put in light blue fillers this is the life in dark blue I love that isn't that cute and it could go you could put it either way that would be even a great card to put on 12 by 12 layout too is that focusing yeah and I'm trying to work out whether it's I think it's navy yeah I'm gonna put it in with the blues even though it's like super dark mm. yeah I'll put it in with the blues well hello there hey there handsome they can all go in the text filler cards remember worth remembering blue and white spot that is cool so is that they can all go in blue I kind of have a darker blue section at the back. It's the only one that's kind of color coded. Um, this floral is, I think I'm going to put it in white because it's kind of black. Um, yeah, I'll put that wood grain in white. Now see this one, I only kept one of it because I'm going to cover up that abomination <laughs> at the top why aren't you focusing there you go so that can go in white um, that can go in gray just a nice gray stripe where is gray gray where are you here it is um, the everyday that can be a filler card and two glittery specialty cards in the specialty spot and I will I do try to keep like the gold and the silver together and then this I'm going to put in the floral because it's a floral that's multicolored and same with that which is here and there you go simple as that super easy so that's how I sort my project life cards and it's basically the same I'll quickly show you for my four by sixes here I'll just pause it for a moment alrighty so this is what I store my 
four by sixes in. Um, these are from Bunnings, our hardware store in Australia, and they're just like little tool garage organisers. And I think they're made to click into something. I don't know. I just got them, and they're about maybe three or four dollars each. Um, and they fit the freaking four by six cards perfectly, and three of them fit absolutely perfectly on a Rascog shelf, which is good to know. And it just makes it easy to flick through them. Um, now these desperately need new. <laughs> these are just uh, shocking. Um, so ignore them, please. And the categories that I have, have, have here, I just turned a bit New Zealander, that I have here, I have all of the colours. These are just 4 by 4 ones. I just pop them all at the front here because I, I rarely use the 4 by 4 page protectors, but they're there when I need them. Um, so I have all of the colours and then, and then I have just one section for... Um, multicolored. So anything with, hang on, I'll tilt it for you. There you go. Anything with a bit of multicolor in it. And I have a section for specialty. And that's it. So I don't have any separate ones. So fillers, journaling cards, pattern backgrounds, they're all mixed together because I don't have that many 4x6s and didn't feel the need to categorize that that much so we'll quickly do these ones this is a specialty one so I think it's just here yeah there we go um, this one I'm gonna go with green because it's kind of like a, a green stripe see this these used to be in a different spot where I couldn't put a um, a high tag on them but now I can I'm thinking of getting like plastic um, folders from the two dollar shop and cutting them a little bit taller and then labeling them with my label maker I'll keep you updated with those this one what do you think guys um, do you know what I'm going to do I'm gonna be naughty I'm going to put it in gray because I feel like I would use it for the grey polka dots more than the floral and I would probably put a photo over the top there. So I'm going to put that in grey. I've got pink, 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 pink. This collection had a whole lot of pink in it. Pink. That's a kind of, mm, I'm going to leave that one. So they're all pink. This, look. It's that funny coral colour again. I'm going to put that one in, what's that? Is that in pink? Because it's the same colour. Yeah, I'm going to put it in pink. And this one can go in multi. And pure awesomeness is how we roll. Too true. These can all go in the turquoisey section. Yep, they can all go in turquoise, somewhere there. That one's got silver foiling, so that can go in specialty. Some darker blues. Oh, that one's got silver foil. See this one, I would definitely cover up that. So that can go in dark blue. Wow, lots of duck blues. Um, the back. Then another glittery one. Super cute. I'll do those ones last because I think there's a few. This one I'm going to put in white because I'd cover up that part. I'm going to put this one also in white because I'll cover up that. Another glittery one. This one I'm going to put in grey. It's very subtle but... It is grey. Another glitter. Um, greys. And I'm going to put that in black and white, even though it's not like really a true black, it's kind of a grey black, but I'll put it in there. And then these ones in the specialty. And that's it. So 
I actually find it really fun to sort cards. I'm a bit of a nerd like that. Um, so, oh, I've lost a sleeve. Um, yeah. So that's how I sort my Project Life cards. Um, if you'd like to see anything else about organising your Project Life cards or have any questions about specific things, let me know. Um, you can comment down below. Give me a thumbs up if you like my sorting strategy. Um, and I will see you tomorrow with another video because it's everyday June. Woohoo! All right. Bye.